Hi there, your name's Ash, and the reason you're probably here watching this video is because you're having issues with Gary's mod. To be specific, you're probably getting those pink and black squares, which means that you're missing textures, or you just simply can't get on a server because you're missing game content. Nine times out of ten, it's probably because you don't have Counter-Strike Source installed. Now, you don't need to go and buy the game because you can get all the maps and game content for free online. This is completely legal, and you're only supposed to use it for Gary's mod. All right, let's get started. All right, so first I'm gonna need you to hit that link in the description below. It'll take you to this website, cscheater.era.ee. And once you come here, you're gonna to go to Gary Content. Scroll down, and right here is Counter-Strike Source. So you're gonna download the maps and game content. I would use Mega because it's probably the most um, easiest problem free and also these have a uh, the file split so you're gonna have to like do two or three downloads instead of just two for this so go ahead and hit that mega link wait for this all of them are at flat links so you're just gonna have to deal with that and there you go and you're going to start the download, which um, I've already downloaded. So I'm going to do the same for maps. Um, I'd also recommend Half-Life 2 because there's a lot of Half-Life 2 content that's used in Gary's Mod. I already have the game, so I'm not going to download that. But the process is exactly the same as to what I'm going to show you after this. Now, you're also going to download the spawn lists because since you're downloading the CSS content, you're going to need the spawn lists to work with that. And this is a 120 KB download, so it'll be like, bam, done. Alright, so I'll be showing you the spawn list process first. going to open that up. It's a zip file, easy, bam. And, okay, you're going to need to go into computer, a local disk, get program files x86, which will be program files for those of you who have 32-bit uh, windows. Go to the Steam folder, look for Steam apps, common, and find Gary's mod. There we go. Go into Gary's mod, scroll down, find settings. Go into spawn list and here we are. Now you're gonna go back to the zip file, select everything, drag it over, and you're gonna copy and replace or copy everything. I already have the stuff, so I'm just gonna replace it. And bam, that's the spawn list process. Okay, so once the maps and content are done downloading, you're gonna need to go back to computer, local disk x86 or program files for those of you on 32-bit steam steam apps common gary's mod gary's mod and this time add-ons now you need to drag those two raw files over to the add-ons folder which i've done before um, and you're going to need a program such as winmore or 7-zip to open these files and you need to extract them to this folder so inside the content you've got the materials models protocols scripts and sound so I'm going to drag this folder over here and it's going to take a while okay so it's almost done extracting and unfortunately it does take a while because compressed it's a 600 and something mb but when it's uncompressed it's twice the size 1.28 gigabytes so it's gonna take a while but yeah we're almost done here 10 seconds left and done so now you get the content out, and what that is is basically all your um, items in the map. You know, like the barrels, the crates, yeah, like the glass, you know, from the windows, crates, 
I said that. Um, boxes and all that stuff that you can like pick up and move around and you know like when you shoot it it goes flying you hear all that stuff and this is especially um, needed when you're playing a game like prop hunt because it's one of the main aspects of the game okay so now we're gonna open up this the maps um, archive and we're gonna copy this and this does not take that long because it's only like 76 MB well yeah that's one compressed and right now the total size is 234 MB but still does not take as long there you go so now you got the content and the maps and if you did the Half-Life 2 download which I do recommend um, it's the exact same process. You just get the maps and the content and you um, extract them into this folder. Now make sure when you go into the folder you've got this add-on text file and then the other content. And in here you've got um, some text in this format. And basically this is in code so that the game will understand what this is and use it. So now you shouldn't be having any more problems. Um, having the Counter-Strike Source game content and maps should be able to um, make you able to like go on about 9 out of 10 servers. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If it helped you, please drop a like. If you have any problems, um, please try to be as descriptive as possible when posting in the comments below make sure that you follow the tutorial exactly how i presented it to you and um i'll try my best to help you out please go check out my other videos i have videos just like this for other games such as minecraft and i'll have more gary's mod videos coming up soon that's it for now and i'll see you again later